after bed, and there were mirrors on the ceiling. Oh, really? Yeah, which I thought was an interesting yeah. choice. Agatha, yeah. I got you oh. a present, a souvenir Department of Agriculture cup, and Johnny, oh. I got you a t-shirt that says, Senators do it on the floor. All right. I was actually just telling Johnny about the time that we stayed at the White House. Oh, yes, that was back in 1971, when we had a private closed-door meeting with Richard Milhouse Nixon's dog. Checkers. Wow, yeah. that's pretty cool. I'm gonna run. I gotta try and get some of those little Bobby Kennedys that bob on your dashboard. Oh yeah, I yeah. saw those. That's but, cute. But and the bed had quarters that you put in for the vibrating. Oh, the bed came with quarters? Oh, Johnny, no. You put them in and then the bed vibrates. Oh, that's how they raise money. Yeah, it's that's, like a ride. I like ride. I know you do, sweetie. Variety show finally comes to America. Viva Variety! With the stars, Mr. LePay, the former Mrs. LePay, the swimsuit squad, and me, your cool ass pal, Johnny Blue Jeans. Tonight, comedian Gilbert Gottfried, crossbow experts, the Hartzels, and the big fan sound of Squirrel Nut Zipper. And now, he took her to the altar, then she took him to the cleaners, Mr. and the former Mrs. LePay! <laughs> Buenos tardes, everybody! Welcome to Viva Variety! Hello, TV friends! This five-star woman to my left, formerly my wife, Agatha. And this five-foot man who I left, formerly with his own hair, is... I forget his name, or I try to. It's the name on the big checks that you get. Mr. Alimony. Mm, close, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lopez. Ah, yes, you used to get it on the first guess, but uh, since then there's been a lot of vodka and water under the bridge work there. <laughs> We have a great show for you tonight. We got the death-defying crossbow couple extraordinaire, the Hartzels, and the fabulous big band, Squirrel Nut Zipper. And of course, the boy wonder of sidekicks. I guess actually Robin would be the boy wonder of yeah. sidekicks, but the guy we got, Johnny Blue Jeans. How you doing, Johnny? Hey, Mickey. I'm so fine. I'm so fine, it blows my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Johnny, the hand goes up. The mouth goes shut. Yeah, right. And now, here they are. The original Mr. and Mrs. William Tell. They're currently touring in the Witness the Impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, the Heart Souls. The Heart Souls, welcome Hello. to the show. Hello, welcome to the show. So I understand uh, you uh, throw, uh, shoot crossbows at, uh, at one another. And we enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. And, well, for the first trick, Ross Harser will split a piece of paper lengthwise the hard way. Take it away, Ross. Lisa will shoot the crossbow at Ross and he will catch the arrow with a target on his hand. Take it away! All right. Okay, let's do it. Justifying trick of all, Ross will shoot his crossbow at Lisa without the use of his sight, guiding his crossbow only by the sound of her voice. It's very, very scary. Quiet, please. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Take it away. Where? 
Ready? Left. Stop. Down. Stop. Left. Stop. Down. Stop. Right. Stop. Up. Stop. Left. Stop. Right. Stop. Shoot. For us, what do you have up your blue jeans? Sock. Oh, Johnny, you! I was speaking metaphorically. Oh, oh, oh! No, I got something artistic. You know, you know. Some people get the wrong idea about me. They think I'm like shallow or something. But to prove them wrong, I've decided to plunge into the deepest depths of my soul and compose a poem of what I found there. I call it "TV Guide for Life." <laughs> Lost in space, Carl Sagan's cosmos, the edge of night, Nova, Zoom, Mesh, the real world. Good morning, America. This is your life. As the world turns, those amazing animals, the monkeys, get smart. Family ties, full house. Family feud, dark shadows, picket fences, the winds of war, mystery, jeopardy. What's happening? What's my line? Car 54, where are you? Taxi! <laughs> the guiding light. I'll fly away, saved by the bell. Good times, happy days. One day at a time. Two close for company. Three is company. Eight is enough. Twenty-one John Street. Thirty something. Ten thousand dollar pyramid. Six million dollar man. <laughs> to tell the truth, we got it made. That's incredible. Cheers. <laughs> To Viva Variety. I'm sure that most of you Gen Xers are too young to remember, but when I started out in showbiz, I had a partner. And I'm sure that your parents remember the great comedy song and dance team of Gilbert and Meredith. <laughs> well, we've got a special treat by old partner, Gilbert Gottfried, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Gil. Good to see you. Gil, uh, Gilbert, I, I heard somewhere that you uh, gave up showbiz. Is that true? Uh, no, actually, I did the voice of the parrot in Disney's Aladdin, one of the uh, highest grossing films of all time. Actually, I heard you gave up show business. Oh, no, au contraire. In fact, uh, I have a new CD-ROM game coming out. It's called Homicide Detective. Oh, you play a detective? Uh, no, I play the dead maitre d'. <laughs> Well, everybody, we thought we'd give you a special treat and do one of our numbers from the old days. So, Agatha, if you would do the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, back from their prolonged and much welcome retirement, Gilbert and Meredith. <laughs> Just a couple of Joes On the night of the town But meeting girls ain't easy Mostly cause I'm around <laughs> Two good bodies full of 
culture and class. I've got the charm. And actually, I've got some gas. <laughs> they get the foreign burn. I can't seem to ditch him. It's like living Cape Fear. And I'm a short Robert Mitchum. He's like nails on the chalkboard. Like crabs here to stay. And so I get the girls. And I chase them away. We need a couple of wax. Show them the city. Take them for cocktails. And a Chinese food that was shot. <laughs> I charm them on the dance floor, chase away their GI blues. Then I have too much to drink and I throw up on their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so I go home alone. Not alone, you got me. And I've got some Pete coupons. It's male porn, but what the hell, it's free. Just a couple of Joes, friends through struggle and strife. I chase away his blues and the girls. And, and we'll we be best, best friends for That was great. I mean, why did those guys ever break up? Well, you see, Johnny, Meredith has a problem with relationships. In psychology, there are types of personalities. There's the A type and the B type. Meredith is what we call the repulsive toad type. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, speaking of which, I've got a brand new movie coming out. Oh, uh, no, Johnny. Not another one of these stupid hack movies with a car that talks. You bet. My first movie, Hugo the Talking Hugo, was such a huge success all over Indonesia that we just had to make another one. And I brought, I brought the trailer. Say, who drank all the boss's mother oil? But don't look at me, Johnny. Uh, Hugo! It's Hugo the Talking Hugo 2, co-starring Miss Teen Amsterdam 1974, Anna Flug. Oh, Johnny, they're going to close my donut shop if I can't get $5,000. And then the kids will have no place to make out. Say, that poster gives me an idea. I could decorate my own room with some posters. No, you dumb cracker. You got to enter the big race and save the girls' donut shop. <laughs> oh! They're at it again with laughter. Does this job turkey come with gravy? <laughs> no, I don't come with gravy. Romance. And Buster Poindexter. A talking car? I thought I'd seen everything. But a car that talks? I'm putting the cork in a bottle forever. And new hit song. Where we go, first place? We won the race. Time to shove donuts in our face. We gotta drive, 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 drive all over the place. You better get in the car. You're gonna get a stick ship where the sun don't shine. It's Hugo, the talking Hugo 2. Coming soon on Betamax Cassette. Johnny, that looked an awful lot like the first Hugo the Hugo movie. No, no, no. Totally different movie. In the first Hugo the Hugo, they were trying to save a surf shop, not the donut shop. A surf shop where they sold donuts, though, right? Well, duh. Surfers got to eat, right? Meredith, help! Ladies and gentlemen, after the last time we had these guys on the show, we received an outpouring of cards and letters. They've just returned from a sold-out tour of Europe. They'll be performing at the Tropicale in Las Vegas starting June 14th. Please welcome back to the show, the fabulous Friedkin Brothers!
Hello and welcome back to Viva Variety. How could this show possibly get any better? Perhaps with one final trick from the Heart Souls. The Heart Souls have strategically positioned nine crossbows on the stage, each one connected to the next in a domino effect. So they will cause a chain reaction. The last two arrows will shoot apples off of each other's heads. Please do not attempt this at home, even if you have nine crossbows. Okay, take it away. Are you ready? Right. Look out. technology. Lose your name, then be fitted for a suit of flame. And the D and the A 
it. Stay tuned. Sweet honey in the rock. What a good show that was. Our thanks to the Squirrel Nut Zippers, the fabulous freaking brothers, and of course their heart souls. And my old partner, Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert, uh, would you uh, like to go get a drink or something? Oh, gee, I'd love to, but I can't. You got, uh, you got plans? No, I'm just going home. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. Haven't had enough Viva variety? Craving a little more Johnny Blue Jeans? Need an extra dose of Mr. and the former Mrs. LePen? Don't worry, there's another whacked-out episode of Viva Variety coming up next, so stick around. Mm -hmm.